In this video tutorial, you're going to learn two different ways to blur a face and track it in Premiere Pro. Knowing how to do this comes in really handy if you need to hide someone's identity in your video, and knowing how to motion track in Premiere in general is just a great technique to learn. If you're a filmmaker or video editor and you want to take your skills to the next level, check out our other how-to tutorials and gear review videos, and subscribe to our Ally & Will channel for the latest weekly videos all about filmmaking. We're in Premiere Pro and we have this clip of three people doing yoga. We need to hide the woman on the left's face. So let's hop into our effect panel and the first effect we'll test out is the mosaic effect in the video effects stylized folder. Drag it onto the clip. Let's go to effect controls and under the mosaic effect, change horizontal blocks to 50 and same goes with vertical blocks. Great. Next, click on the ellipse mask. Let's bring our cursor over top of it. And when we do this, a hand icon appears that lets us hold down and drag the mask wherever we'd like on our clip. We'll position it over her face and click and drag these points inward to decrease the size of our mask so that it's just a little larger than her head. Let's click the program monitors drop down menu and zoom into the shot by 200% to get a closer look at our mask. Okay, and I'm going to reposition it slightly. Currently, we have a fairly sharp edge around our mask. So what I'm going to do is increase the feather to around 70 so that the mask's edge is a little less sharp, a little less abrupt. We'll go back to fit view. And now we need to track this mask as the woman moves so that it continues to cover her face. Under the mask drop down menu to the left of mask path, click on the circular toggle button to place your first keyframe. This is the keyframe here and it will hold the position of the mask on the area of the frame the playhead's over. Next, click on the mask path play button to have Premiere Pro track the mask with the movement of the woman's face. It's gonna take a few seconds. Awesome. As you can see, keyframes have been placed following the position of this woman's face over every single frame of the clip that we tracked. And let's check this out. Okay, and looks like Premiere's done an awesome job of tracking. Now, let's say after doing all this work with the mosaic style mask, you decide you prefer a more subtle blur. Go back to the effect controls panel, search for Gaussian blur, which is in the video effects blur and sharpen folder, drag it onto our clip, Hop back over to the effect controls, turn our mosaic effect off by clicking the effects icon. And now under Gaussian blur, let's increase the blurriness to 70. Yeah, that's looking good. Now under the mosaic effect, click on the mask drop down menu, select the mask and press command or control C on your keyboard to copy it. Select the Gaussian blur effect, press command or control V to paste. Doing this has allowed us to paste the attributes from the mosaic effect onto our Gaussian blur effect. And there you have it. You now know a few different ways to blur, mask, and track someone's face in Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed this video. For new weekly videos all about filmmaking, subscribe to our channel and feel free to check out the over 60 videos we have teaching filmmaking tips, tricks, cool things you can do in After Effects, Premiere Pro, Adobe Audition, and more. We'll see you in another video.